I'm Athens Abel, on watch at the Vintage Fair Mall in District 1, Modesto, California. I'm here with City Council candidate John Gunderson. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Athens. I'm glad you came out today and granted us this interview. Yeah, I ran right over after school. <laughs> That's right, you're a substitute teacher, aren't you? Yeah, I'm at the uh, Military Academy in Turlock right now on a long term. And it's a very exciting excitement um, to see young people uh, getting a good handle on their education. and It's uh, very helpful for them. What made you decide to run for city council? Um, I've been wanting a classroom of my own for a while. I like to keep moving. Um, I, I don't like to stand still. I've been a substitute teacher for going six years in November and uh, for educators uh, it's kind of a tough situation right now. So I need to progress in my life and I, I believe I can help Modesto. Um, my focus is education, you know, I, I'm really into the kids and, and making sure they uh, get a fair, fair shake in today's economy. And um, I have long-term interests in Modesto. My family's been here a long time, and um, it's just Modesto is a part of my life. It has been for a long time. How would running for city council give you your own classroom? <laughs> well, it 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 won't. Um, I would focus on the job city council. I would still like to be a substitute teacher, but. Um, Having my own classroom, I, I really wanted that, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. They're delaying, you know, California's in rough shape. Are you familiar with the Salida Community Plan? And if so, what are your thoughts on the annexation of Salida to Modesto? I'm not in, wholly in favor of that. I mean, it could be examined, and really it's up to the people of Salida. It's uh, not for Modesto to say, um, people Salida might want to consider, you know, keeping small is nice, small is beautiful, and um, if they can hang on to what they have as a small town, that, that might be a good thing for them, but it's their decision. Uh, annexing can save money, uh, everybody wants to save money, it's, there's a lot of concern about it. Modesto thinks it wants to expand northward into farmland. Um, something that really has to be thought out. Um, I'm not really in favor of that very much. Um, you know, there's some good dirt out there. Might want to take care of it. How do you think the annexation of Salida to Modesto would affect District 1? Uh, district, well, I don't know. District runs boundaries could be redrawn. That, that could be a possibility. Um, it, it seems there, there's a push for commercial activity out that way. Uh, District 1 would be more, have more commercial interests, more business. Uh, I think that's what they're working towards. Um, definitely a lot of brick and mortar type situations. Some housing maybe is, is what they're going for. Speaking of building out along the boundaries, what do you think of urban sprawl? I don't like it. Um, we've seen Modesto has urban sprawl, lack of planning. We have island tracks of houses that aren't part of the city. They're they're in their county, within our within our limits. Uh, needs to be those should be addressed first. Um, I listened to. Um, candidate Mr. Marsh and he's he thought that you know growing taller rather than sprawling out might be a good way to consider growing Modesto um, it's sprawl it just I don't know if it's really a good idea we you depend on the automobile so much with sprawl and that's problematic these days as city councilman how do you see bringing jobs to Modesto? We do need more jobs. Uh, Commuting is not a very pretty thing. Um, we should be trying to do something about that. Um, City Modesto has an economic development uh, department and um, from what I was told they don't have the resources to go out and try and bring businesses to our area. 
uh, we need to visit that and um, maybe get some resources available to them so that they can go out. It's, it's hard to get a big company um, to come in. Uh, it'd be nice. We have a lot of agriculture here, you know, agriculture related biz, um, enterprises do employ a lot of people. Um, we should try and grow that way. That's one way we can grow, but um, we got to have more business here. And I'm not talking about uh, retail so much. We need jobs that, uh, where we export a good or a service. We really need that badly. How do you see the air quality in the Central Valley improving? And as city councilman, do you think that you would be working with the EPA or anything going on here in the Central Valley to improve our air quality? Improving our air quality would be getting the Bay Area to clean up their act, um, reducing the travel over the Altamont, that would help, and also the, uh, the corridor up there between Sacramento and uh, Vallejo. Uh, we need some rapid transit, uh, should have had it decades ago. Uh, Japan's had it for a long time, why hasn't California had it? Doesn't make sense to me. Um, I, the, the commute's just so wasteful and it, it's not good for our air. There's an effort in Patterson to uh, have a short rail to Oakland, um, warehousing, uh, enterprise, I forget the name of it, but uh, that, that's a good idea. That might cut down some trucks. Trucks tend to be polluting. And um, I like that plan. It should be visited, and um, any concerns that Patterson might have should be addressed. Uh, try and work with them. It, it would be good for the county. Do you have any previous political experience? I mean, other than teaching kids. <laughs> Do you have any other experience working in politics, or is this your first run at it? Well, the classroom is full of politics, of course. Uh, but. Presently, I've served on the Stanislaus Union School Board for uh, two years in be December, my first board meeting, and I learned rules of order, um, learned how to get along with people. Um, it, it, the only thing that we really had that was terribly controversial was the cuts and having to send out pink slips, which was very painful. Did not enjoy that at all. Um, it, it, pretty harmonious relationship there and I don't know if that'd be possible with City Council but I sure would try. I want to get along with people and I want to listen to them, hear their opinions and uh, consider them. Um, I'm accessible. If you won the seat for City Council District 1, would you give up serving on the school board? Yeah, we already uh, talked about that. Um, my superintendent and my fellow board members, we discussed that. I discussed it with the city clerk and the city attorney. Um, there, from the city, they said, gave me a letter that said, may have to uh, excuse myself from the board. It's possible. Um, I wouldn't mind hanging, hanging in there with the school board. I really like the school board. It's, but, um, I think I'd be good for the school board, but if I had to, if the city says I have to give it up, I have to give it up. Um, from what I heard, they'd like to keep me hanging around. In closing, why is it that you should win for District 1? Well, I had a question like that at another forum, and um, I think what I said was I, I don't feel that I'm the best candidate. I'm a good candidate. Um, I don't want to say if I'm better than somebody else. That's, I'm not really of that nature. Um, I, I believe that I would certainly take time to uh, take care of city matters. I can make time uh, given the job I have as a substitute teacher. It's no, not a problem. Um, I will do what I have to do. I'll be there. I'll be available. Um, I, I care about Modesto. I know Modesto very well. I spent a lot of my years as a kid here. Uh, my family's been here. I have, I have a connection to Modesto, and um, I'm proud of it. Glad to be here. Thank you for coming out today. I enjoyed it very much. We look forward to seeing you at one of the forums in the near future. <laughs>